The U of M's annual Red Heart Soiree is just a few days away, and you might be wondering how an event like this makes a difference in our lives and the lives of our loved ones. Well, we are glad to have Heidi Murphy with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Heidi, you experienced a life-changing moment last summer. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Um, your memory kind of gets affected after cardiac arrest, but what I do remember was that it was June 20th of 2020. Um, it was a sunny summer Saturday, and my husband, Shay, I were going golfing that afternoon, and I decided just to run one quick errand, and uh, I left our house and woke up two days later in the ICU at the University of Minnesota Hospital uh, and learned that I had collapsed while in a local Hobby Lobby store. Wow, that's, um, that's a lot to take in. You're an active mom in your 40s. Um, was there any indication that you could have an issue with your heart? Nothing, nothing at all. I'm, I'm a healthy, young 44-year-old mom. I'm active, I exercise, I had routine physicals, and there was never anything that stood out. There were absolutely no warning signs that I would collapse that day. Wow, how, can, how do the resources at the U of M um, help in your recovery? Yeah, they, the, the care team, the, uh, the doctors, the nurses, the uh, rehabilitation team, they have been amazing. Um, three weeks actually post-discharge, I began cardiac rehab at the U and uh, just began an eight-month journey of just getting myself kind of back to where I was before the arrest, uh, getting my body strong again and making sure that I was continuing to, uh, to move forward. What has kind of your recovery been like for you and your family? I mean, as you've gone through these steps to kind of get back to where you are. Um, you know, I when I came home from the hospital, I was very sore. Um, you know, my mind was very foggy. Um, I didn't have any energy. So it's been really important as a family to just make sure that, you know, we're staying active. Um, I've been very determined through this whole process to make sure that, you know, this was just gonna be kind of a, you know, just a little blip on the radar for us. And we are just gonna continue to move forward. And, um, you know, we've been out skiing, we've been out golfing. I make sure that I exercise every day. Um, you know, I've just been really determined to just keep getting stronger. You know, I'm sure this really kind of hits home for some people and we're around the same age. It definitely makes me think about this. What is your message to others about, you know, kind of taking your care of yourself and taking care of your heart? You know, I, I tell people all the time, I mean, you live once and with this, like I said, there was absolutely no warning and it's a miracle that I survived. And so, um, you know, I just make sure that I make every day count and um, make sure that those around you you know, know how important they are and um, just make sure that you're taking care of your, your health and your body, staying active and, uh, you know, just being appreciative for the life that you have. Absolutely. We are so glad that you are here with us to be able to share your journey. Thank you so much, Heidi. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thanks. All right. You can help people like Heidi by taking part in the Red Heart Soiree, benefiting cardiovascular health or making a donation. Head to <coughs> WCCO.com slash links for more information.